Speaker Femi Badabiamila has moved to rally the support of members elect for Tajuddin Abbas and Benjamin Kalu as APC's choice for the Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the 10th House of Representatives. At a meeting with members elect on the platform of the joint task, Tajuddin Abbas disclosed plans to formally launch a 16 point agenda he has in stock for Nigeria. National Assembly correspondent Joki Adisa again reports. It's the first meeting of the joint task, an assembly of all members elect of the 10th House of Representatives after the APC formally gave direction for zoning pattern. The chairman of the forum welcomes all members elect and speaks to the task before them. Osman Kumu appears to his colleagues to see reason in the party's choice. As practitioners of guided democracy, whatever became the outcome the mainstream political party decision. We are going to abide by it. We are going to implement it. We are going to ensure that it is adopted, unpolluted, and diluted in poverty. Visible at the meeting at Abbas Tajuddin, Benjamin Kalu, and Speaker Femi Bajabia Miller. The meeting excused non members elect, and after about two hours, the favored members elect answered reporters' questions. Tajuddin Abbas disclosed plans to unveil his manifesto in days ahead. By next week, we are going to do our official declaration. So we'll come out with a 16-point agenda. In that agenda, you see all the areas we are going to work on in the 10th Assembly. Tajuddin Abbas and Benjamin Kalu described their endorsement by APC as laudable. They are also determined to reach out to aggrieved colleagues. We are in the process. We have reached out to so many and will continue reaching out to all of them. Before the end of next week, I assure you all the candidates, all the contestants will reach out to them. We will beg them, we will um, uh, ask them to come on board so that we can work for the good of the uh, institution. The party has started um, the strategy for the 2027 election by making sure that they have a foot in the southeastern region. What they have done with this nomination is in the spirit of inclusion. The southeast is going to feel the power of cohesion. Although Speaker Femi Gojabia Miller did not make any statement before the media at the event, the sole aim of the forum is to rally support for the party's choices ahead next month's inauguration of the next assembly.